friends. Welcome to Vlogtober week number one. So, oh, I'm sorry. There's a bad glare. Let me turn my camera a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right. So right now I am, it is it's 1230 in the afternoon. Um, I woke up this morning and I've been working in my bed, getting some things done, trying to update my website. I'm having problems doing that, but I finally had to just give up and come on out here and get on the treadmill. Uh, I've been doing good staying on the treadmill, working out rather at least three times a week. I've been consistent with that for probably about the last three weeks. Um, I really don't feel like it, but while I still have the mind to get on out here, I'm making myself come on out and at least do 30 minutes on incline. Um, just so I can get some steps in, so I can get some movement in for the day. Um, I'm going to run to the store, and I'm going to just be taking you guys with me today. So, uh, yeah, I'm not doing Vlogtober every day because I know I won't get every day in. So, I thought it would be a great idea, actually it was my daughter's idea, to do Vlogtober by the week. So, I can just let you know kind of what I'm doing during the week. And I, I've been so consistent with doing Vlogtober over the last three years, I really didn't want to miss any of it this year because it kind of like breaks a streak. So let's see how this weekly Vlogtober goes. And I'm so happy you guys are here. Uh, I'm glad to be back and filming on a regular basis. Um, so let's, yeah, let's just uh, get this workout in and I'll check in with you guys. In Thank God it was um, one of those mornings where I did not feel like getting out. Because some mornings, like last week, my body was like craving a workout, like craving a sweat. This morning was not one of those mornings. So anyway, I'm going to go on up, uh, shower and change, and come downstairs and make me probably a big old fat salad because I have some uh, baked chicken left over. I think I'm going to add some chicken to my salad and some other vegetables. We'll see what we can put together. Okay guys, so I'm out of the shower. I've got conditioner on my hair, so I'm gonna let that sit. And I made my salad while I'm letting the conditioner sit. So I've just got a huge salad here with some grilled chicken in there, some bacon, cheese, and tomato. I'm out of cucumber. And I'm out of my crispy onions that I like to have on there too. But anyway, this is going to be my lunch and my first meal of the day. Friday and I've got my home smelling like fall. So of course I've showed you guys my holiday um, pulpery pots that I put on the stove. You know, I've given them away as, as gifts before. So uh, I've started already with my fall fragrances. When you all just put some of this on and it smells so good. Water, you add in your fruit and some aromatics like your cinnamon sticks and your cloves and um, some cranberries and your home smells like fall. It is amazing. So if you are not yet in the fall mood or spirit, um, put on a pot of this, that's it. Um, if you don't have any cranberries, uh, you can use apples, you can use a half oranges and lemon, um, use that and just put some slices of apple in there. I put some vanilla extract in there. Um, just all of those things that smell really good. Let those permeate your home. And I promise if that doesn't get you to feeling like fall, then I don't know what will, but it smells amazing. And just let it simmer on low. Keep an eye on it though. And as the water cooks out, just go ahead and add a little bit more water. Just keep adding water until, um, I mean, this lasts for days, literally, um, probably up to a week. 
Um, if you just keep adding water, it depends on how long you have it on. I would usually let this go for like two or three hours while I'm home um, doing some work. Um, I'll just have this going on low and my home smells amazing. So just keep it on low and I just keep adding water to it for like two to three hours a day for maybe about a week before I'll change it out. And what I'll usually do is when this is um, old, I pour it out, I'll take out the cinnamon stick um, and then I'll pour the rest down my garbage disposal and turn it on with some water and it has my garbage disposal smelling amazing. So um, just a couple of other little things you can do with the leftovers there, but I love it and yeah, you guys, Get a pot of this on. You're going to love it. So, y'all, I was in my bed working this morning, and I got some ink from my ink pen on our comforter here. So, I am going to attempt to get this out. I took it immediately um, and brought it downstairs here. I'm going to attempt to get that out, you guys. So, I'm going to try to use, you know, shout out, and I hope it works because I love our white comforter. It's so big and fluffy and comfy and I do not want any stains on it at all. I know that's a risk when you buy things that are white, but we've had this for so, for a good while and so far, so good. Okay, I see it, it looks like it may be coming out. Please come out. <laughs> all right, I'll let you guys know if it does in fact come out. It looks like it is, I hope so. Again, I love this comforter so much. So I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. I'm just gonna kind of rub it together here and hopefully I can get this out. Again, I'll keep you guys posted. So the time is 3.17. I am in the parking lot at Trader Joe's. I'm getting ready to go in to buy some pumpkins. So um, all next week, I've actually planned out all of my content for next week. And I had a, I did a poll on my Instagram stories and I asked my followers if they would like to see any pumpkin recipes and majority voted yes. So I'm going to do my entire pumpkin series next week, I hope. So um, my goal is to, from scratch, from scratch, I'm gonna make a pumpkin puree and make all of my pumpkin recipes from scratch using fresh pumpkins. So I'm on my way into Trader Joe's right now to buy several little pumpkins. It's what they call sweet pie pumpkins, I think is what they're called. If I have that wrong, somebody let me know in the comments below. So I'm uh, on my way into Trader Joe's to do that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So let's go shopping at Trader Joe's. Thank you. Top oh. Okay, so some of the best pumpkins to get, you're gonna be looking for pumpkin pie pumpkins, or they're also called sweet pumpkins. And they're usually the smaller pumpkins, like these here. So I'm gonna get about four or five of these. And we'll use these in the recipes coming up. ahead and cook this up because it's been out all day and I need to cook it up. I don't want to put it back in the fridge to or freezer to get cold all over again. So I'm going to stick this in the oven and then I'm going to film a couple of reels that I need to get out this week. So I'll show you guys a little bit of that process. <music> tomorrow at 
I plan on, I'm gonna sit this out to defrost. Tomorrow I plan on doing a video on um, old fashioned fried chicken. So um, I've never been really great at frying chicken and I don't do it often, but I'm going to do it like the old fashioned way, the way mama and grandma used to do it. Put the flour in the bag, uh, the paper bag and you shake it up and all that good stuff so that's what i'm going to be doing with this so i'll be showing you guys a little bit of that tomorrow as well it's going to also be a reel but i'm going to put some of that um uh reel onto this vlog as well all right so stay tuned for that all right so that is actually it for today i will pick this vlog back up tomorrow so i've got my bacon cooked i didn't cook the entire pack of bacon but my husband and i have actually been munching on it since i have made it tonight but um so i made the pack of bacon i came in and i filmed one reel um it's how to make your own homemade pumpkin spice it's real and i'll actually show you guys that process later on in this vlog if not this vlog it'll be the next one um next all next week is going to be my pumpkin series so it's going to be all about pumpkin recipes um we're going to start with some fresh pumpkins the fresh pumpkins that i got we're going to make some pumpkin puree from the pumpkin pumpkin puree i'm going to take the seeds out we're going to roast some pumpkin seeds we're going to make some pumpkin latte just pumpkin everything um because i've never done a series like that and I want to kind of experiment with pumpkin. So I've got a couple of recipes up my arm that I'm going to see if I can pull off. We're going to do a candied pumpkin. Let's see how that turns out. So stay tuned. I will be showing that in one of my upcoming Vlogtober videos as well. But that is it for tonight. So I will pick this vlog back up tomorrow and I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey everybody. So it is Saturday and right now I'm in the kitchen. I'm filming a an old timey home style fried chicken video, you know, um, the kind of chicken that mom and grandma used to make when they put the flour in the paper sack, shake the chicken up and season everything really good and put the chicken in there and shake it up. So that's, that's the type of video that I'm filming today. And y'all, I wanted to show, show y'all this. So y'all see these pieces of chicken here. You see how they're kind of like not normal. These are, this is two chicken breasts. And you see I have five pieces here. These chicken breasts were so huge. It was a bit disturbing. I went on, I fried them on up, but I had to cut them. So I cut one of them, I cut in half, and the other one I cut it in half, and one piece was still just too big, so I cut that half in half. And anyway, so I got some, I guess, pretty decent size pieces here, but y'all, I will never be buying that chicken again. Um, Whole Foods and organically grown or organically raised chicken, chicken that is that grazes off of the field, that's all I'm gonna be buying from now on. Uh, yeah, because that was pretty disturbing. But anyway, season the chicken up, put uh, put it in some flour, seasoned flour, and I've got it going now. Um, I've got some corn over here, and then I'm going to also put some uh, potatoes in the microwave, and then I will put some biscuits in the oven. That's going to be dinner.